he's not here to stay. I know. I know. Well, let's transition over to our next topic. Damn it. <laughs> so bad at this game, guys. Cook and Zeke enter the AFC East. This is news from today. Actually, the, mm -hmm. the signings were both announced within mere minutes of each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Zeke going to the Patriots. Delvin Cook going to the Jets. Now, Delvin Cook to the Jets had been, you know, something for a while. Whereas Zeke to the Patriots had been a fever dream for several members of Bill's Mafia, I'm sure, if you look at the Twitterverse. Uh, so we'll go Joe, Ryan, A. Which one of these is a bigger concern for you? Zeke to the Patriots, Cook to the Jets, or are we going with none of the above? Sure, sure. Um, first of all, I, I'm guessing that Bill Belichick loves the fact that Zeke tweeted out that he was going to be a patriot before the news broke. I'm sure Bill Belichick was a huge fan of that. Yep. So that was that was interesting. So we'll see how much Zeke uses Twitter here in the near future. <laughs> if we're if if we have to pick one, I would say Zeke being a member of the Patriots hurts us more. Or not, or not I'm not gonna say hurts us more. It's bad verbiage. Um, but is a, is a bigger splash than Cook to the Jets. We spoke about this a few weeks ago, what we thought about Cook possibly, because, you know, there was a, when he first became free agent, it was like, he'd go to Miami, he'd go to the Jets. Mm -hmm. And we talked about a little bit. Him going to the Jets makes zero sense to me. And as Mario brought up, what does that say? I think it was Mario. What does that say about Brees Hall? Does that mean that Brees Hall is not as healthy as they might be leading on? Possibly. Be careful. Be careful, Ryan made those comments, and he's going to correct you. I'm sure aggressively <laughs> in just a moment. I was going to, I was going to, I was going to wait my turn. Yeah, <laughs> um, but you know, we've seen what the Patriots can do running the football um, with mediocre backs at best. Um, you know, what, what was that? Two years ago, where they had a game where the quarterback threw Mac Jones threw three times. Like, you know, we need to be careful with Zeke Jones or Zeke. Yeah. Um, and so that, that's my answer, Zeke. So I'm going to reuse, Paul already saw this, what I what I said in one of our group chats. Zeke to the Patriots is a is a, a whole lot of who gives a shit to me. <laughs> like, to, to, the, the only thing that Zeke to the Patriots does is piss me off as a Ramondre Stevenson owner in fantasy football because he's going to be the <laughs> touchdown vulture to Ramondre Stevenson um, between the 20s. Zeke Elliott, he's looked washed for the last couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. He was really washed last year. Don't let the stats fool you. They almost 900 yards and 12 touchdowns last year, but only 3.8 yards per carry. Like it, That was a volume statistic situation. He's not going to get the volume in New England. The bigger, more interesting move to me, certainly, is the Delvin Cook signing. And previously, we did t discuss, you know, what would a signing like that mean if I'm a Jets fan? And I had brought up that I thought it would be it would concern me because of Brees Hall. And the, the thing that further concerns you if you're if you're a Jets fan and you're a Brees Hall fan is the news out of Denver with Javante Williams, where Javante Williams, by all accounts, is going to be ready to roll week one. They're mm -hmm. saying he may play in the preseason. And his ACL injury came well after the Brees Hall injury. And we have heard no word of Brees Hall getting back on the field in any capacity anytime soon. Now the Delvin Cook signing where they give him I think it's like, what is it? $9.6 million this year. It's like 8 million guaranteed with a one point with 1.6 in guarantees. That's a lot of money for, for what, for all intents and purposes should be a backup running back. Mm -hmm. That's starter money. That's money where they're going to give him carries and they're going to make him a focal point of the offense. If I'm a Jets fan, I'm extremely concerned about Brees Hall as a Bills fan. I'll take a page out of Drew Gears book. It's hat on a hat talent wise doesn't do anything for me doesn't change the way you game plan Brees hall very similar he's a younger delvin cook skill set wise right he's fast he catches the ball he can run between the tackles he can kind of do it all um but i don't think it changes your approach if you're the buffalo bills heading into week one um, you're just preparing for delvin cook instead of Brees hall but you're not preparing for a different type of running back right you're not you're not going from preparing for derrick henry to preparing for Delvin Cook, right? You're preparing for basically the same type of running back. So I don't think it it doesn't move the needle for me as a Bills fan, but as a Jets fan, I'd be very worried about what the, that means for the future running back that we spent a pretty high draft pick on.
Mm-hmm. It does. Yeah, and- it does create a new storyline for Monday Night Football, though, as as both cooks going after Cook each Cook. other. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. True story. Yeah. Now, truthfully speaking, right? Zeke is only having to replace Damian Harris's production, in, in my opinion, mm-hmm. right? Sure. And sure. you're paying a lot of money to replace Damian Harris. To be perfectly honest, yeah, you could have gotten right? Damian Harris back for cheaper than four million dollars. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so, like, it's, yeah, exactly. Uh, but admittedly, right, Zeke Elliott is a very good third down back. Right, like if that's going to be his role, he will be very good at it. I don't know if that will be his role, and I don't really know if he's willing to accept that role. But at this point, he waited so long to sign. You have to just imagine that part of him is like, listen, I'm I'm going to go play where I play and take the role that they give me at this point. Right, because I I got to play. It's running backs cannot take time off. I think we've seen that, right? Running backs can't take time off. Um, But Damian Harris only ran for 4.4 yards per carry last year on 106 total total rushing attempts, right? Like you have to replace 100 carries. Zeke Elliott can replace 100 carries for you. It it is expensive. He's probably a better pass protector than Damian Harris. But uh, the truth is underrated. Uh, right, and, and, but and it's been is, three years Zeke is, since Zeke has averaged more than 4.4 yards a carry. Sure. So. Sure. Yeah, I understand that. But I think situationally, things are going to be a lot different this year for Zeke. I think you'll see his, his overall efficiency numbers improve. But in, it's the Patriots, man. The, the Tiger doesn't change their stripes. They're looking at replacing 100, 100 total rushing attempts. That's all they're trying to do. And yeah, as far and, as and it coincides Cook, with the injury of Pierre Strong. That, that's it also does. part of it. Pierre Strong's yeah. injury is probably worse than what they had initially thought. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And I mean, if Zeke was on the radar for you anyway, why not at this why point? Not, right. right? right. At, at this point, why not? Um, the Delvin Cook to the Jets thing, um, uh, like, I don't know. I, I'm a I'm a Brees Hall fan, right? I, I don't think yeah. that's a mystery here. Um, but I don't think Michael Carter's a bad two no. right now is not he right. the nice compliment to Brees hall no, not really like if you if you need a banger running back like it is certainly not michael carter you know i think the jets mm-hmm. died that death of a thousand paper cuts two seasons ago where they every running back they had was like under five foot ten and all of them were like 170 pounds soaking wet you know like they they did that once uh it, it, in the recent in the re, in recent history um but dalvin cook doesn't do it for me right um don't get me wrong I think he still will absolutely allow your offense to have veteran leadership, but this feels like a lot of cooks in the kitchen to me at this point with the jets, right? It just feels like they're trying to build, you know, some broke ass wish.com Miami heat team to go win a championship. And I, it doesn't work that way in football. At least it hasn't been proved that it's worked yet. Yeah. But we can also talk about better If you would have reversed, if you would have reversed these signings, like to me, it would have made a lot more sense in terms of what these teams are trying to do, right? Like so Zeke, for, Zeke if, to the Jets. If, if Zeke to the sure. Jets makes a lot more sense to me than Zeke to the Patriots, and Delvin Cook to the Patriots makes a lot more sense to me than than Zeke. So mm-hmm. it's just, I don't know. It's all weird. It's all weird to me. They're clearly trying. Everyone's chasing Buffalo, um, and yeah. this ain't it. As as Paul eloquently put in the the graphic to today's show like it, that that's it's cute it's it's a nice effort but i, I don't think it moves the needle at all mm-hmm. yeah and and you know on top of all of it i think there's a lot of, of people out in in the you know the bills mafia who are going to say well buffalo has james cook yes but they continue to just kind of muddle through the running back position when are they really going to make an investment in the running back position don't get me wrong i think james cook is that investment although buffalo consistently drafts running backs Right. Like Mm -hmm. that's what what they've proven that they want to do. And you just have to accept that. That's fine. Right. That that's Mm -hmm. fine. Um, However, uh, this will be the ultimate test of do you really need to add a veteran running back like a a former premier NFL running back? And I say former premier because there were times where Zeke Elliott and Dalvin Cook were the one and two best running backs in the NFL. And there were stretches of time where they were clearly one and two best running backs in the NFL. now, at, I'm sorry. Do we not have Latavius Murray on the roster? Just oh, is, it, is he not the veteran former premier running back? Or am I leading mistaken? leading the leading the Broncos in rushing in rushing last season is not an earmark for success <laughs> at, the eight, at the age of 32. That's not uh, not too bad. Oh, God, you just, oh, God. <laughs> well, there's that Latavius Murray stand that I thought Ryan was. There it is. There, there, is. there it is. But there my is. point, my point is that there won't be a better example of it than the AFC East. 
right? Yeah. Because yeah. here you have teams that you have the Bills who are trying to just draft and develop talent, and then add a couple of veteran affordable running backs to mix in, right? Then you just had the Patriots and just just spend a bunch of money on bets they probably didn't necessarily even need. Uh, and then you have Miami. I who lost out on both of them. Both yeah, I don't know how you lose both back, of them. And they're going to be trotting out 32-year-old plus running backs uh, yep. that run really fast. Hey, Raheem and Mostert, a, and man. And a rookie, you don't know what he's going to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, A-Chain, look, a- A-Chain, you know, maybe he's going to be something. We'll see. I oh God, but every time you're expecting somebody from the Dolphins organization to hit, you're just like waiting for like, for what, who was it? Who was the, who is the uh, Devontae Parker? Like, man, if he could ever figure it out, you're just waiting. Number one wide receiver in New England. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Shocker, right? Yeah. (laughs) See, see where this train's going, guys. See where this train's going. But yeah, it's it's everybody's trying to catch the bills. And it's not just in the AFC East, although it's it's a fun argument to have because these are teams that impact you the most. Uh, Everybody's looking up at Buffalo. Um, I, I'd argue even the Chiefs are looking up at Buffalo because I think from a roster standpoint, Buffalo's rosters are simply stronger than, than most other most every other NFL team out there. Um, you know, they're younger at the premier positions that you want to be. They've got experience at the positions that you need experience in. They do have some gaps. I'm not going to say that they're not, but um, you know, one of the top top two, maybe top three best rosters in the NFL. And we're not even at roster cuts yet. And and a lot could change, you know, well, an absolute lot could change. Anything final on Cook and Zeke before we move on, gentlemen? Well, I do want to bring up uh, Travis Gold brought up a comment here, and I'll put on the stream. And, and, and I was looking at this hard this past off season. I think I talked to you about it, Paul, a little bit. Oh, but sorry, I'll... I denied your comment. Oh, Did you highlight it. a comment? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah I denied that's it. Okay. That's okay. Um, he talked about how how the O line doesn't produce lanes for our running backs, and there were, and I'm not saying that he's completely wrong. He's not right. Our offensive line has been pretty bad for a decent amount of time. But as I watched film of the games from last season, there are plenty of times, and I mean a dozen or more times, where Josh Allen could have easily had a run pass option, and he decided to take it out of the running back's belly, and there was a lane, and then. Josh Allen runs with it and gets six or seven yards. Everyone's like, oh, look what Josh Allen does. Josh Allen does not trust the running backs. Maybe it's because he doesn't trust the offensive line, and that's a problem. I said it in the offseason. I got a lot of hell for it. Josh Allen's as big of a, 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 a good thing for us as he is a problem for us at times, and that needs to change. Hmm. I think your comment, uh, what, minute six in this stream was the offensive line has to get better. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It does. I'm not saying he's completely wrong, but when you're paying your quarterback this much money, you're you're going to get inconsistent offensive line play. Like it's just yes. It's, yes. It, it comes with the territory. You have to make your sacrifices okay. somewhere. If Buffalo finally drafted a guard. Thank God. Right. Uh, for a need that they've had for multiple seasons. We, you know, finally the ship sailed on Cody Ford, you know, and that thank goodness that experiment ended. Right. And you got out of that one. But you got to save some money somewhere. And yeah, right tackle still remains a big mystery here. Um, you know, I, how does this relate to, you know, how does this relate to Cook and Zeke in the AFC East? It doesn't, but it does relate to preseason overreaction. Okay. 